Hi, I'm author Amy Shannon, and this is Behind the Cover. Today's story is called Fractured Tears, A Struggle for Justice. This is a fictionalized version of my experience with domestic violence um, at the hands of my previous husband. Um, it stars uh, Anna Coleman. She's the main character. Her husband's name is Ted. Um, and a lot of the story is fictionalized, but there are some um, experiences that um, detail what actually happened. Um, some of it is about the assault. There are some truths, or I should say facts, that I incorporate in the story about how I had to um, get justice um, and work with the justice system. It doesn't always work. Um, sometimes you have to fight to get justice, so that's what this story tells. But it's also about um, feelings and emotions and how people deal with different things differently. Um, Anna is a very strong-willed person. Um, in some way, she might kind of come off as maybe a little cold or detached. Um, and she's not a typical well, stereotypical victim, um, and I guess I wasn't either. Um, the story starts out um, with after, after the assault, and Anna is talking to the hospital social worker. Um, Anna is in the hospital. Um, she's under a safe patient number, um, which is the way that um, the hospital I was in um, handled me. Um, no one knew my name unless I told them. Um, and the social worker, um, her train of thought is kind of a similar experience to what I had. Um, so it starts out with that, but then it goes back to um, what had happened the week before, what had happened the day before, and then how Anna moves forward and how she has to deal with um, her husband, her husband's friends who think he did nothing wrong or, um, you know, friends and family and co-workers talking behind her back, um, dealing with lawyers and politicians and the justice system, district attorneys, things like that, um, reporters, it can become a big fight and a lot of the experience I went through is that but some of it um, the characters are all fictional characters they do not depict anybody um, I did not take characters and say okay this character is based off of this guy this one's based off of that guy I tried to give them different personalities um, even if they were kind of like a placeholder but not a replacement for the person and I would never out any of the people that I worked with um, or write a story about them. I wrote my story in a fictionalized version um, so I can you know maybe share my story in a way that um, people can look at it and see and maybe just become more aware. Um, it's a book to also share awareness and Sometimes, yes, um, the victim recants her statement. A lot of times, the police, the um, law enforcement, district attorneys, they assume that the victim will recant their statement, drop charges, things like that. Um, that's not what happened in my case. Um, I kept pushing to get justice um, for myself. And Anna does the same thing. Um, Anna has relationships with different people. Um, and it's, I think it's an important story for me to share. And that's why I wrote it, but I wrote it in a fictionalized version. But if you know someone who um, maybe is a victim of domestic violence, living in an unsafe environment, is a victim of abuse, um, Sometimes they just can't get out. Um, sometimes they just need support or strength. And 
sometimes they're broken where they don't think they're worth the fight. But everyone is. So my point for the story is, you know, I'm not saying that the justice system is easy because it's not. So people need to do what they feel is right for them. And there are places outside of law enforcement that can help victims of domestic violence, even if it's a family support system. Um, so I hope that this book kind of brings a little bit of awareness. Um, so again, it's called Fractured Tears, A Struggle for Justice. The cover actually depicts a picture of me that was taken in the hospital, um, but it's I kind of have it faded. Um, so it's, I guess I'm supposed to be Anna. I don't know. Um, but I thought a cover with that can show true colors um, of what could possibly happen. So, uh, Fractured Tears, A Struggle for Justice is available on Amazon.com in both paperback and Kindle. And if you can, you know, support your local domestic violence center. Um, and if you know someone who needs help, be there to support them, no matter what the, their decision is. It's, it's theirs. They have to be the one in control. So thank you, and I will see you soon. Bye.